What's going on everyone? Thanks for jumping into this video. This is Jason here and I've got some exciting news today. My wife and I have been talking about getting outside of Arkansas and finding other areas to source at thrift stores. And so this weekend we're doing that. We're actually headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma right now, which isn't far away. It's a couple hour drive from Fayetteville where we call home. And we're gonna spend the weekend here in Tulsa. So we've got a few thrift stores planned that we're gonna go to. So hopefully we can find some amazing brands that return really good money and maybe even some new items that I'm not familiar with. But I'll definitely bring you all along in the stores. We'll do some in-store thrift footage and show you what I'm seeing. And then maybe do like a recap at the end on stuff that I got for this weekend in Tulsa. So if you're from Tulsa, I'd love to know. Leave me a comment below and maybe share what's a favorite thrift store or two of yours that you like to go to regularly. And also, with this being Memorial Day weekend, what are you all doing to celebrate? Would love to hear. So thanks for watching and let's hit the first store. What you want to look for right there you want that crown logo excellent condition athletic pants with a little bit of reflective strip on the bottom and a zip up ankle pretty fun All right, just accepted an offer on the cool slacks. I had an offer come in and I'll show you uh, what sold on the screen here. But while I'm doing that, I looked this up and uh, no good on the comps on this. So there, there was only one shirt, brand new for 15 bucks, leaving that one behind. Polar Ralph Lauren, which is a little better than just Ralph Lauren, but look at that, 4XL tall. Got the horse there on the shirt. 549 and uh actually was given a tip by chris chris at peak to check the sides on these polos make sure they're not ripped which is a common thing you'll find so we're good to go on that one grabbing that one for five bucks should sell for 25 to 30. great shirt here pro dry is a great model for foot joy so if you find those they're a little higher end it's got a course on the front U.S. Senior Challenge. I was actually asked by a viewer recently if I pick up golf polos with courses. I do. It doesn't usually deter me. The price is right. Five bucks. Good size. I'll pick that up even though I don't like yellow. Look at those shorts. Two-tone vineyard vines, but $10.99. Can't pay that for those shorts. No margin in that. Going back. That's a bummer right there. These would have been a pickup, but you got a little rubbing on the inside of the jeans there. I would definitely pick those up for 15, but not now. Yes, that is amazing. Brand new sealed. 250. Let's check it out. Homer Simpson Chia Pet. I just had a lady come up and ask if I was going to get that Homer Simpson Chia Pet. So definitely glad that I snagged that. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that. Thank you. 
All right, I get quite the selection of shoes here. The king is in the house. Check that out, LeBron James. Eighty-five dollars. Wow. I don't think so. Let's check this other side. See what we can find. I've sold Ariats before. These are kids' shoes, and they look to be in almost new condition. Twenty-five bucks. I could probably sell them for fifty. Excellent condition, but I don't think I'm gonna pay up for those. How did I miss that? Oh man. Yeah, I totally walked right by this. So Angela was informing me of this West Elm set down here, and it's. $20 for the set, six mugs, looks like two, five, seven, eight bowls. And these are really heavy bowls. So I'll take a look at the, the West Elm Aaron Probin, Probin? Never heard of that name. Let's see what it pulls up for. So West Elm is a great brand, higher priced, higher end, like home goods, so if you were to go in a store, you'd pay a lot for that. There's these, a sold count for four bowls for, I believe, $40 plus 25 shipping. I've got, looks like uh, two, four, what did I say, six, eight bowls plus six mugs. I'm gonna grab them all for 20 bucks because that will easily return me over $100, maybe closer to $200 for this set, which I will break up into smaller sets, but when all of it sells, should bring close to 200 bucks on this, so let's grab what we have here. And then right behind me, as I was grabbing the West Elm, I noticed these. Pottery Barn Sausalito. Got three mugs and one, two, three, four, five. Looks like six bowls. Bowls are a dollar a piece. I'm gonna grab those because those will go for about 15 to 20 each including shipping. So we'll get those six. I'm still deciding on these mugs. I may leave the mugs behind because honestly, I'm not a huge mug fan. All right, just left the first Goodwill. That was a great stop. I showed you quite a bit of what I picked up, but I'm gonna do a recap at the end of this. But for right now, we have a crucial stop to make. Thank you. Yeah. No, I don't want to be able to sit all day. Yeah. All right, here you guys go. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Cool. You guys have a good day. Yeah, you too. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mmm. Infamous Salvation Army mini carts. Right off the bat, I was walking right by these shorts and take a look at that. I've never found Masters shorts. Check them over, make sure they're clean. Green tags are 50% off, so this is full price, but six bucks, I'll take those. recognize that tag. Eight dollars. Men's XL Duluth. I would get that. It's a different shirt. It's like a pullover. Interesting. It's a men's small, but that is too cool to not pick up. Check that out, denim shirt. Sorry, it's kind of dark in here, guys, but check out this shirt. Wrangler, but the bummer is right there. 
Otherwise, I would have gotten it. Going back. Here's a brand I've picked up once before, Ryan Michael. It's a great looking shirt for six bucks. And if I remember right, it sold pretty fast. Comps are showing 30s and 40s. balance shoes they looks like they're men size 10 could be women's but they look brand new hardly worn you can picking those up should get 40 to 50 on those and these mbt rocker shoes toning shoes see how they're rounded so 10 bucks should get 45 to 50 great condition Last pickup of the stop. There it is, Sakura. Great brand for China. Beautiful pattern, excellent condition. Get all four for 12 bucks, should go for 40 to 50. a lovely stroll with bay Well, I'm back home now, guys, and I just wanted to do a quick recap. I'm not going to obviously show you everything that I found because, let's be real, I got quite a bit of stuff. But I do want to mention that I did go to a couple more stores that I didn't show on the footage. They weren't that great, honestly. Those first two stores that I showed you were actually pretty decent. The last two, I just got a few items here and there. But I'll go ahead and show you a few hand-selected items that I did get at a couple of Goodwills at the tail end of the weekend and uh, show you what those should go for. So let's start with the first one. I did pick up these Kate Spade high heels. I've never really picked up high heels before. Honestly, this was a, a newer find for me. And as you can see, I paid up for these, paid $17, but I looked up comps on Kate Spade heels and I'll do some more research before I sell them, but I should get at least 40 to 50 bucks, if not more on these. They seem to be in great condition and they're women's size eight, which is kind of in that sweet spot, seven to nine, what you want for women's shoes. So. Um, I'll definitely put open toe, high heels, and then I'll just do some research to figure out how else I want to list. But there's the brand right there, Kate Spade. This next item I picked up for a dollar, and Hydro Flask is a great water bottle brand. If you buy one of these brand new, you're looking at $30 to $45, depending on the size that you get. This is a 32 ounce black, great condition. It's got the lid, the cap. And then on the side, it's got a logo. So I'm not sure if that's Oakley or Oregon, but I'll probably put both of those in the title and then just let someone buy it based on what they want it to be. So I paid a buck for this and I'll probably get around $20 with shipping for this water bottle. At the very last Goodwill of the trip, I was going to the checkout and saw this guy hanging on the rack. And this is a really neat pattern. As you can see here, this is 100% camel hair and it's a vintage piece. And the brand I love finding, I've been mentioning this quite a bit, Brooks Brothers is the brand, as mentioned, 100% camel hair. I've actually never found a camel hair Brooks Brothers blazer or sport coat. I paid 13 bucks for this. The only thing about this, it does look like it's on the smaller end. I tried it on, it was small for me, so 
Um, even though this is on the small end, I should get at least 50 at the very minimum, but I'm gonna shoot for higher than that because it is 100% camel hair. It's got a great pattern and it's in great condition. And then the last piece I'll show you, which we already saw in the video, was this Homer Simpson Chia Pet sealed in the box for 250. And I should get 20 to $25 for this guy right here. Definitely glad that I got that because there are many times I've gone to garage sales, I've looked at something, walked away, and someone else has snagged it. This time I was the one that got the item. So very fortunate that I ended up getting there when I did to grab this piece because had I been three seconds later, she likely would have grabbed this. Well, that's going to do it on today's video. Thanks for checking in on our Tulsa trip which I guess at this point is over a week ago. But I do hope that you all had a great Memorial Day weekend and were able to celebrate in the way that you liked to. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. And if you like this video, I appreciate all likes. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. This is Jason signing off.